Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outviews. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Chrome closing itself. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you fix this issue and this issue is kind of annoying if you're going to experience this. Well, this one is kind of simple and there's a few things that you need to know and you need to do for you to fix this. So the first thing that we need to do here is we first have to ensure we, that we have the latest update for Google Chrome. Now, what we need to do here is open up Google Chrome here, go to the top right here, click on the three dotted icon and you want to go to settings. Now under settings, go to the about Chrome at the left side corner here. And from here, look for the section here that says uh, Google Chrome. And as you can see, it's going to automatically update itself when you actually go to this page here. But if you don't see the update here, or if it actually has a button that says update, go ahead and press that and make sure you have the latest version. Because sometimes not having the latest version could actually affect on how Chrome would actually uh, interact. Because sometimes there's going to be some bugs. So updating your uh, Chrome here would actually fix those bugs. Now, if this doesn't work and you already have the latest version, there's a few things they need you to do as well. Now, again, in this uh, section here, what we need to do is we need to go to the section that says privacy and security at the left panel here. And from here, you want to look for a clear browsing data option. In this case, go ahead and click on it. And from here, I would suggest you to fill out or cl click on whatever you see here, especially browsing history, download history, cookies in other sites, and cache image and files. Now, if you want to save your password, make sure that you uncheck the passwords and other sign in data and auto for autofill form data here as well. Now, in this case, I would suggest you to choose all time here, but if you don't want to lose all your data, my, uh, the last four weeks here or one month would actually, actually suffice. Now in this case, once you've done that, just click on clear data and just clear your data and from then check if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, then most probably this is issue is actually caused by an extension that you recently installed. Especially if you just in, uh, installed a application or extension in your browser, this issue might be uh, the cause or the reason why you're having this issue. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to the extension at the top right here. And what we need to do is we need to click on manage extensions and this should actually open up the extension page. Now in this case, look for the extension that you want to remove. So for example, I actually have this extension here for Grammarly. So for example, let's go ahead and click on remove here. Just click on remove and that should be able to remove our extension from our browser and check if that solves our issue. Now in this case, once you've done that, go ahead and make sure that you start or relaunch your browser here or Google Chrome and from then on, see if that solves your issue. Now, if those, all of those steps doesn't work from you, then most likely this issue is caused from your hardware. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and open up our task manager here. Just press on control, shift, escape, or you could go ahead and search on that on your search at the bottom left. Now, if you don't see these details here, just click on the more details option and you should be able to see the same view as I have right now. As you can see, Google Chrome is using a lot of memory, which in this case, uh, Google Chrome is actually known for being memory hungry. Now, especially if your memory is not enough and you're not providing enough memory in Google Chrome, then most likely that is the reason why Google Chrome is closing itself because right now it can't handle or your computer can't handle Google Chrome. Now, in some cases, you might need to consider using an alternative, like for example, Edge, um, Microsoft, uh, Firefox, or any other browser out there that you might think that is a good fit for you. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.